Joe Kernan losing out to Plunkett Donachy. The ball just a little slippy at the moment with the rain. Bucketing down at the moment. Joey Donnelly inside to Brian Hughes. Brian Hughes. Johnny Corvin inside to Moriarty. Here's Jim McCare. McCare with the ball blocked down by Hugh O'Hagan. Oh, and off the upright as the ball came back in again. Armagh, yet another chance. Here's Moriarty once again as Armagh going for the goal, losing out. Here's Hugh O'Hagan getting the ball clear. Shea Daly. Well, perhaps Armagh at this stage should really still be looking to get points. Here's Eugene McKenna at the other end. McGuigan running for it and this time losing out. As Armagh desperately try and get themselves back into this match, Brian Canavan to Jim McCurr. McCurr losing his footing temporarily, but doing well as he's going all the way. The final kick not so good, though. And Plunkett Donachy eventually managing to get the ball clear, gets it to his brother, Colm. Colm Donachy trying to find O'Hagan, but Colin Harney Gets it inside to Kieran McNally. Kieran McNally. Here's Brian Hughes. Brian Hughes. Out to Jim McCurry. Jim McCurry. Patsy Curlin's with him. Jim McCurry back to Hughes. Brian Hughes. Inside to Coleman. Tommy Coleman back inside gets in the shot but Aidan Skelton has it covered and is thankful to clear it out over the sideline Jer <laughs> Houlihan with the sideline ball that goes wide Skelton, this should be Brian Hughes's ball, but it beats him. And here's Jim McCurry. McCurry pumps it right back in again. Now Tommy Coleman, if he can get to it, but loses out to Noel McGinn. The ball's still in play, still there. And the referee awarding a free to Armagh. Sir Hulham there, he's worked hard but to no avail so far this afternoon. <laughs> Difficult angle this is Johnny Corvin curls the ball in and sends it over for a point for Armagh. So now it's Armagh five points, Tyrone 12 points. Skelton finds Kevin McCabe. McCurr doesn't manage to stop McCabe as he finds Damien O'Hagan. Still Damien O'Hagan. The referee, though, has blown up. O'Hagan held onto the ball too long and a free out to Armagh. Brian Hughes straight to Kieran McGarvey. McGarvey is brought down. 
Kieran McGarvey there. He's had a fine match so far for Tyrone. Kevin McCabe. Damien O'Hagan. Still there. Breaks back to Patsy Curlin. O'Hagan gathers once more. Gets in the kick. Could be dangerous. But the referee awarding the free out to Armagh. Quickly taken by Brian McAlinden. Here's Joe Kernan losing his footing on this very slippy pitch now. Brian Hughes and Dennis Stevenson. Plunkett Donachy, Noel McGinn. Dennis Stevenson, Shea Daly is with him. Stevenson gets in the kick. And Johnny Corbin is fouled there by Sean Donnelly. And Tyrone making a substitution, number 18, John Lynch, who played in an earlier round against Derry, but was subsequently injured, and he's come on in place of Colm Donachy. John Lynch, very experienced player. The free is taken, and a superb save there by Skelton, as the ball is sent back in again. So the free is taken by Stevenson, and Skelton did well to keep it out there. Aiden Skelton, not for the first time in this match, saving Tyrone and getting the ball clear. And Jim McCurry's name now has gone into the referee's notebook for that foul, the third Armagh player to have his name taken in this Ulster final. There's Art McGrory, the Tyrone manager, urging on his men. Hugh O'Hagan, Frank McGuigan and Kieran McNally going for it. McNally wins this time. Kieran McNally, John Lynch tackles unfairly, and McNally gets a free. Colin Harney, Joe Kernan, Joe Kernan trying to find Corbin, the ball sent on to Houlihan, what can he do now, Houlihan with the goal at his mercy, buries it and beats Aidan Skelton, so at last Armagh get a goal, Ger Houlihan who scored one of the vital goals in the semi-final gets another today. Well, at last, Armagh have found their rhythm as the ball was knocked on by Corbin. And in went Ger Houlihan as Skelton came out. Houlihan had the goal at his mercy and made no mistake. It's now 12 points to Tyrone. Armagh 1-5. Four points now between the teams and less than 10 minutes remaining and that goal will have given Armagh a great deal of heart Colin Harney 
Houlihan looks for it this time, but Frank Rafferty losing out to Brian Hughes. If the Armagh fans find their voices, and John Lynch committing the foul on Paddy Moriarty. Colin Harney with this free, a vital one. And Joe Curran got a touch to it there, but the ball went wide. Skelton only finds Ger Hulen, the man who got that vital goal. Here's Fran McMahon. And Armagh now beginning to pile on the pressure. Corbin keeps it in. And still Armagh have it. Here's Hulen once more. And the referee awards the free against number 18, the substitute John Lynch for the foot up. So an opportunity now for Armagh to narrow the gap to just three points. A simple one really for Johnny Corbin and he makes no mistake. So now it's 12 points to Tyrone, one goal and six points to Armagh. fairly unexciting first half this game has really exploded into action Eugene McKenna winning the ball that time Plunkett Donachy to try and get Tyrone going once more here's McGuigan the man who's caused so much trouble so far and yet again he does it well just when Tyrone seemed to be losing their concentration up pops Frank McGuigan for yet another point. His personal tally now 11, Tyrone's 13, Armagh 1 6. Brian McAlinden. Here's Hugh O'Hagan. Patsy Curlin. Such a determined runner is Patsy Curlin. Still Curlin. And yet another point, Patsy Curlin, such a difficult man to stop once he gets going. And Tyrone certainly finding their form at a very vital time in this match. 14 points to 1-6 they lead. Just over five minutes remaining. with this free. Shay Daly does well to hold on to it. Here's John Lynch. Lynch only sends it as far as Fran McMahon. Cher Houlihan has plenty of space out on the far side. Trying to find Moriarty. Johnny Corbin has it now. Corbin on to Kernan. And that was a very timely interception there by Plunkett Donachy. Resumes with the kick out. 
in fact, to Tyrone. Donachy finds McGarvey. Canavan was looking for it that time, but across came Lynch. And this should be it. Oh, no, it comes back off the upright. Paddy O'Neill was left completely clear there. But John Lynch sent in a superb ball. And with Brian McAlinden completely stranded, the ball cannoned off the post and back into play. And yet again, the upright saves Arma. Well, we're certainly having a superb closing quarter in this match. Here's Fran McMahon. McMahon looking for Corbin and Donnelly. What can Corbin do now? In goes Corbin, out comes Aiden Skelton. Great piece of goalkeeping and the free, the free out and some unpleasant scenes at the moment. McGarvey and Corbin having some words. The referee on the spot. Well, you can see Corvin and Donnelly. And really, in these closing minutes, Seamus Murray, the referee, will have to watch everything going on just in case this game could boil over. John Lynch is fouled. And Tyrone not in any great hurry at the moment with two minutes remaining. Not in any hurry to take this free. It's taken now to Plunkett Donachy. And as long as Tyrone can keep the ball up that end of the field. Looking good right now for their first appearance in an All-Ireland semi-final since 1973. John Lynch, the substitute. Sending the ball back inside, McGuigan has it, gets in the kick. But Joey Donnelly, for once, manages to thwart McGuigan. One minute remaining. Kieran McGarvey mopping it up. Here's Kevin McCabe. Free out to Armagh, just seconds remaining. Here's Ger Hulahan, finds Joe Kernan. Still Kernan, Eugene McKenna's after him. Johnny Corbin, and well, what a let off for Tyrone. Corbin got in the kick, and the ball came back off the post. That was so unlucky. Fran McMahon. Sends the ball over for a point. It's now 14 points to Tyrone, 1-7 to Armagh. Johnny Corbin there had a glorious opportunity. Perhaps it would have been too late anyway, but Tyrone were very lucky to get away with that one. Tyrone fans urging the referee to blow full time. Free out to Armagh. But at this stage, it won't matter. The referee looking at his watch. Brian Canavan, John Lynch, and Noel McGinn, who's had a marvellous match for Tyrone. Getting it clear. Damien O'Hagan. Here's McGinn. 
begin, sends the ball over, and surely that is that. Tyrone now, 15 points, Armagh, one goal and seven points. And we're now well into injury time as Kevin McKay comes forward once more. And this time, the ball goes wide. And the referee, once more looking at his watch there, but waving play on. And the Tyrone fans whistling. Jim McCurr for Armagh. Jim McCurr trying to find Corvin. Corvin manages to keep it in play. And Kieran McGarvey unceremoniously kicks the ball out over the end line for a 45. Johnny Corbin, Eugene McKenna, and another 45 to Armagh. Three minutes of injury time already played. As Johnny Corbin sends in the 45. Hugh O'Hagan gets it clear. And the referee, Seamus Murray, calls for the ball. And Tyrone are through to their first All-Ireland semi-final, having taken their first Ulster title since 1973. They started out this championship as 14 to 1 outsiders. Well, they've confounded all the experts. What a splendid victory by Tyrone. What a marvellous individual performance by Frank McGuigan. And so now Tyrone go on into the All Ireland semi final where they'll meet Dublin. Your team boys, Ben, getting.